33 Thomas Street from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at www.wikipedia.org. 33 Thomas Street, formerly the AT&T Long Lines Building, is a 550-foot tall skyscraper in Civic Center, Manhattan, New York City. It stands on the east side of Church Street between Thomas and Worth Streets. The building is an example of the brutalist architectural style with its flat concrete slab facade. The building is a telephone exchange or wire center building which contained three major 4ESS switches used for inter-exchange long-distance telephony, two owned by AT&T and one formerly owned by Verizon, decommissioned in 2009. It also contains a number of other switches used for competitive local exchange carrier CLEC services, but is not used for incumbent local exchange carrier ILEC services, and is not a central office. The CLLI code for this facility is NYC MNYBW. The building is reportedly home to a National Security Agency surveillance facility. Design the Long Lines building was designed by architect John Carl Warnick and completed in 1974. As it was built to house telephone switching equipment, the average floor height is 18 feet, 5.5 meters, considerably taller than an average high-rise. The floors are also unusually strong, designed to carry 200 to 300 pound per square foot live loads. The exterior walls are precast concrete panels clad with flame-treated textured Swedish granite faces. There are six large protrusions from the rectangular base which house air ducts, stairs, and elevators. There is a series of large protruding ventilation openings on the 10th and 29th floors. William H. White claimed that it features the tallest blank wall in the world. It is often described as one of the most secure buildings in America and was designed to be self-sufficient with its own gas and water supplies, along with generation capabilities and protected from nuclear fallout for up to two weeks after a nuclear blast. Its style has been generally praised, with the New York Times saying it is a rare building of its type in Manhattan that, quote, makes sense architecturally, and that, quote, it blends into its surroundings more gracefully than any other skyscraper nearby. History The location was previously the site of cast iron buildings, typical of the area, the facades of which were preserved prior to demolition. The building was a core part of the AT&T Long Lines Department, housing solid-state switching equipment, which required a high level of security and space. The Long Lines Department became AT&T Communications in 1984 after the Bell System divestiture. The AT&T Long Lines Building is now commonly known by its street address, 33 Thomas Street, like many major New York City commercial buildings. AT&T gradually transitioned switches and other facilities from their former AT&T Long Lines Headquarters building at 32 6th Avenue, just a few blocks away, completing the move by 1999. 33 Thomas is still used for telephone switching, but some of the space is also used as highly secure data center space. On September 17, 1991, management failure, power equipment failure, and human error combined to completely disable AT&T's central office switch at 33 Thomas. As a result, over 5 million calls were blocked, and Federal Aviation Administration private lines were also interrupted, disrupting air traffic control to 398 airports serving most of the northwestern United States. Because the building was designed to be self-sufficient, AT&T had a load-shedding agreement with the electric utility, Consolidated Edison, where they would voluntarily switch from utility power to on-site generators on request. This was a routine procedure that had been performed successfully in the past, but on this occasion it went wrong. After switching power sources, standard procedure was to check all the equipment power supplies, known as DC plants, for problems. But due to scheduled training, the check was not performed, and one plant went on battery backup. The alarms were not detected until it was too late to maintain uninterrupted power. After the destruction of the World Trade Center in the September 11, 2001 attacks, AT&T local services restored lost facilities they acquired from the former Teleport Communications Group based there to 33 Thomas and 811 10th Avenue. 33 Thomas was described as the likely location of an NSA mass surveillance hub codenamed Titan Point in an investigation by The Intercept and in a documentary short film by Henrik Moltke and Laura Poitras titled Project X, both drawing on the surveillance disclosures of Edward Snowden. The investigation ties the facility to a nearby FBI building and its rooftop equipment to NSA's Skid Row satellite intelligence system. In popular culture, 
33 Thomas appears in the movie Ghostbusters as a background in the scene where the containment is shut down and the building erupts with ghosts. 33 Thomas is depicted as the headquarters of a global surveillance operation run by John Cerruti, played by Anthony Perkins in the 1979 conspiracy satire Winter Kills. Appears briefly in the 2000 crime drama film Boiler Room, where the Federal Bureau of Investigation are seen monitoring the lines of J.T. Merlin. Long Lines is referred to by Teju Cole in his first novel, Open City, about New York. Long Lines appeared on TV show Mr. Robot as a bank record storage facility of Evil Corp in Season 3. The prominent building appears in The X-Files, Season 11, Episode 2. It is the building where Clive Owen, playing Detective Sal Freeland, works in the 2018 Netflix movie Anon, which takes place in an alternative future where augmented reality is omnipresent. See also 375 Pearl Street Project Offices This audio was recorded on December 13, 2018.